Why am I getting two 8080s? No, me either. <laughs> and I'm going to try get another 8080 for about a hundred pounds, which is ridiculous. How's it going guys? It's Thomas on Planet Tech and welcome to a vlog. Now vlogs won't be typical content on this channel. I will be posting most of my vlogs on my tech productions channel. So go subscribe to that if you enjoy Lego vlogs. Um, but this one is so specific to Star Wars that I figured I'd put it on this channel. I'm in London. I'm hoping to get hold of the UCS 8080 on release and I'm hoping to get a wristband um, and attend the midnight release at Leicester Square. That's the plan. It's Wednesday now. So we got up here, we've got to be at Leicester Square um, Thursday morning when the store opens to get a wristband. So uh, we're just gonna go now because there's already some people in line. So we're just gonna gauge it, see how early we think we might have to get here depending on how many people are, all, are at the queue now. And yeah, I think it's gonna be a, a fun vlog. So uh, I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so I've made it to Leicester Square and there's about five or six people outside queuing. Uh, the guy on the door doesn't think, he thinks that I could just walk up at opening and get a wristband. I think that's gonna be a bit risky. Uh, so we still get here a few hours before, I think. But uh, but yeah, it's, it's filled me with hope, I think. Fingers crossed. But yeah, just having a little wander around now. Um, Powell looks pretty good, build a minifigure looks pretty good. So I'll probably end up buying some of those tomorrow. Um, but yeah, just uh, just having a little browse around. We've got the big mosaic behind. It just looks so sick. Impresses me every time I come here. Uh, but yeah, so feeling optimistic about tomorrow. I was get I was starting to get a bit worried when I found out that people were already queuing. And there it is, the eighty eighty. What the trips intended for to come and pick up tomorrow? Oh my god, it's huge. <laughs> it's so big. There's like forty seats. So I'm gonna have to buy tons of the battle pack. And, uh, but yeah, look how sick it looks. So cool. What a beautiful set. I can't wait to have this in my collection. So just got back and uh, yeah, I feel a little bit more relieved about the whole situation. Uh, but I still think we're gonna get up about six o'clock and then head down there and we can go like, just grab McDonald's cause double McDonald's for meals is always good and healthy, right? Um, but yeah, no, I feel a lot more relieved, uh, but I just wanna get there, get our wristbands and, uh, and then yeah, and then we can enjoy the rest of the day. We're gonna go do some mini golf, I think. Uh, do a bit of shopping as well. We're up here, see some of the Christmas lights and just sort of have a mooch around London because I end up coming to London quite a lot, but we don't actually get to spend a lot of time just chilling. We've always got like quite a strict itinerary. So it'd be cool tomorrow just to chill and, and kind of explore. So yeah, time to rest up and uh, and yeah, get ready for the morning. It is no godly hour. I'm not even usually up for work yet. It's what, five past six? Okay, time to head back down to Leicester Square. I really, really hope there's not been a surge of people. I can't imagine there is, but I think I was having nightmares about it last night. Let's go. So I was really struggling to sleep and I actually got video done. So that'll be live on the channel. Um, it's my more with spider legs mock showcase thing. So you can go check that out. Card on the screen now. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm getting quite excited now. I'm looking forward to this. Really hope we get a wristband. Okay, time for the moment of truth. Was getting up for early, worth it. Okay, looks to be a bit of a queue, but more than an ample enough. Okay, we're good. I think we're good at McDonald's. <laughs> we're safe. I think that's pretty much 
8080 secured. Nice. And we are now officially in the queue. We're gonna get wristbands, we're all good. We fueled up on McDonald's breakfast. And uh, yeah, and now we wait, I guess. Queue, boredom, montage for the next three hours. Okay, and we're in. We've got our wristbands, we're all good. They also gave out uh, the Han Solo Hoff poly bags, so that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, got our wristbands confirmed. We're just gonna have a wander around the pad wall. Uh, check that out, but uh, yeah. 8080s uh, secured, so all good there. Okay, so Lego Store's done for now, um, and uh, we'll be back later, of course, for the 8080. But um, yeah, we've got a couple of pub cups, and we did the build a minifigure as well. That was really good fun. Uh, I'll show you guys in better detail uh, later on. But yeah, just gonna go do some shopping, gonna little mooch about, and uh, try not to get run over by this car. <laughs> uh, but yeah, just gonna have a little mooch around, go back, have a little nap, and then uh, go get some dinner, and then go to the launch. I'm excited, I think it should be really good fun. Um, I'm just so glad that we've got our wristbands secured now, so, um, yeah, two 8080s have been secured. <laughs> So back at the hotel and just had a bit of a nap um, and chilled. We did a bit of shopping, just walking in and around London and that was fun. Um, didn't buy too much, just sort of went in a few different shops and just sort of mooched about a bit. But sorry I'm not updating you with talking as much as I usually do in my vlogs. As you can probably tell my voice, I'm not feeling 100% um, and been a bit tired today, but feel a bit under the weather and stuff. So I haven't been doing that as much, but I am really excited for tonight. And I suppose I should explain um, why I'm getting two 8080s. Why am I getting two 8080s? No, me either. <laughs> so I've never really been a massive collector of the UCS sets. However, I recently decided just before we got info of the UCS 8080 that I wanted to build a minifigure scale Imperial Army. So I basically just want all the vehicles, all the ships to be in minifigure scale or as close to minifigure scale as possible. And if you guys are familiar, even mildly, with the custom market, the custom models for the 8080 that are out there are amazing. They're really, really cool, but they are very, very expensive. And the UCS 8080 is actually going to be the cheapest way to get a minifigure scale 8080. And I would like more than one of them because that would, like, that's part of the army is that you have multiples, right? And I know that sounds sport and kind of crazy and. But um, I've kind of tried to justify this in my head that I've got some quick co cashback money. Um, I've got about 300 pounds of that. Um, I can use the VIP points. Um, I'm going to sell the promos as well. So um, if I can sell the promos for how much I'm hoping and just all the other little bits and stuff, I'm pretty much going to be getting one for free. So um, yeah, that's kind of a little bit why I want to do it. It's going to be fun trying to get two massive 8080s back from uh, Leicester Square tonight. Uh, we're just going to like get a cab and, and get back to the hotel. So 
uh, yeah, that should be fun, and I'll try to document as much of that as I can. Just uh, excited. Um, it's not, not too long now until midnight. We're going to go get some dinner and, uh, and then go play some mini golf and then head over to Leicester Square where we'll meet Victoria, um, who we met in the queue earlier, Victoria Fisher. She was really, really lovely. It's awesome chatting to her and meeting someone else from the LEGO community. Yeah, it's cool to, cool to meet more people that we've been chatting to online over the past year or so. So... Yeah, I'm excited. It's going to be a good, fun evening. Anthony Daniels is going to be there. He's going to be signing the certificates. Um, and I think it's just going to be a good time. So, so yeah, let's kickstart this evening and, uh, and get rolling with it. McElroy walking down the uh, down Oxford Circus. I think it's Oxford Circus, Piccadilly Circus. I don't know. One of the circuses. I'm with a clown anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, we're on the way to Leicester Square, and we're going to pick up our 8080s. And I'm excited, but it is a bit cold. But these lights look so sick. Like, look at all of them. I love London. I love being in London. It's great. They couldn't even get the right snow trooper in the queue. It's 12 o'clock. I'm cold. Get me inside. Now. Okay, so we're in, we've got our two goodie bags. There's loads of stuff in here. I'll go for it properly later, but yeah, this is just so cool. We've got the uh, certificate there. Gonna get that signed by, by who, Paige? <laughs> Paul Daniels, isn't it? Okay, we gotta get two of these bad boys home now. I'm not looking forward to this, but uh, I mean, it's a fucking great problem to have. <laughs> I can't believe I bought two of these. Absolute madman, but oh, it's gonna be so good. Someone bought a lot. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> right, these are my room, you can go find your room there. There's no, there's no, no room in the bed tonight. No <laughs> Morning vlog. So we got into bed last night when we got back in, it was like 2am. And it kind of dawned on me that I didn't use my VIP points on my second 8080. The VIP points that I've been saving up for like a year. Um, and the VIP points that I also got like a hundred pound extra VIP points when Lego made that mistake a couple of weeks ago With the conversion and stuff. So I cashed in like an extra hundred pounds worth of VIP vouchers So I had about 535 Pounds in VIP vouchers that I was going to use towards it basically on the first transaction I said no, I didn't want to use them so I paid for the 8080 and then was going to use them on the second transaction and uh, 
the guy didn't ask me because I think he assumed I was just going to use them for a different transaction and I didn't think about it and there was so much stuff going on so I just paid it and I was like I didn't realize until I got home but what that means now is I've got the extra 70 pounds in VIP points from the 28080 purchases so it's about quarter to eight right now we're going to go down to Westfields and I'm going to try get another 8080 for about a hundred pounds which is ridiculous um, and if I can get the promo and sell the promo as well then uh, yeah we're in the money for three 8080s and I probably wouldn't have spent a penny on it which is crazy which is crazy um, but we'll give it a go. I mean, if we've left it a bit late and the queue's a bit long, I'm happy with two. I'm more than happy with two. Two is more than enough, at least for now. Uh, but yeah, if we can get a third one, we're going to try to get a third one. Let's do this. Come on. Okay, so we arrived. We're about an hour and 10 minutes until the store opens. So we're hoping there's not too many people that have come. But uh, yeah, we'll see. It took a bit longer to get here than we thought. And uh, yeah, trying to pack those AT-80s into the car was, uh, it's like Tetris, but yeah. Hopefully hour and 10 minutes is gonna be enough to secure the third AT-80. Let's go. <gasps> Paste on the spoilers. There's no one here. There's no one here. I'll get a third AT-80. Paige, I'll get a third AT-80. Don't tell anyone. Oh, what a win. What a win. Oh, stop thinking about food, Paige. More important things. Oh, yeah, baby. Three of them bad boys, though. <laughs> That's going to look bad. Oh. The key to success when queuing for the Lego store is fuel your aid up with coffee and snacks, and then they'll wait pleasantly in, in line for you. It's great. Third eighty eighty secured. Second in line, I think they said they had like 24. So yeah, plenty of time, nothing to worry about. Okay, so the Lego store have a few things on sale today because of Black Friday and also probably because coming to the end of retiring. These Adidas shoes must really not be selling for them to be 80 pound down to 56. I seen them go to like 40 pound on some Black Friday deals, but yeah, they got Marilyn Monroe. I think that's towards the end of its lifespan. Video, darts, brickheads, and then Last few trolls things as well. We done it. We've got a couple of days of uh, clothes and other crap, three 8080s and more Lego. So let's drive home and I will show you everything that I bought this weekend. Okay, so we're in Sainsbury's because they've got five first battle packs for 1650 and i've got about 60 pounds in nectar points oh they've got some thank god okay so i think i need nine and then i've got 50 in total and that's all of it so um yeah it works out basically with my next points if i use all my next points and that they're 1650 i'll get them for like 10 pound each which is an absolute steal so yeah that's uh how many have they got they got 10 Oh, look. Oh, yeah, the spending continues. <laughs> okay. Time for the moment of truth. Oh, imagine if they, like, give me a Falcon or a Star Destroyer instead of the AT-80. I'll be livid. Absolutely livid. Okay. Moment. Okay, it's an AT-80. We're all good. It is an AT-80. Oh, what a beauty. Right, trying to get this out is going to be near on impossible. Oh, okay, so take that out of there. You can actually get your hands in. Whoever thought about that is very, very clever. Oh. Ta da! Oh, wow. This. Looks so cool. <laughs> oh man. Oh. I mean, the box is pristine, but I really don't care about that. Um, I don't keep my boxes, so yeah. Oh man, so I'm gonna be live streaming 
going to be getting a bit done then I'm going to be joining Greg on London Calling and uh, yeah I'm building a bit more on there and then hopefully get it done this weekend but yeah I'll update you after the stream okay so after my stream and London Calling this is how far me and Paige have got um, we've done for the first two boxes instruction manual one and two all done um, the only piece is here okay so one of those those two are meant to be a spare these are two dubious pieces now I've only seen eight of those um, these were in the, the parts of the page of building so I've gone back and th through and checked them all um, and I only see eight of these and all eight of them are in there so unless I'm missing something completely different um, it does seem odd that it's just one though it's really confusing and one pin which I don't think I'm gonna lose any sleep over because one pin is like one pin and that could there's so many to put all these panels on that I think I'm just gonna leave that one otherwise I will be pulling the whole thing apart and it'll just be a nightmare so yeah really happy with the progress um, I will show you guys what I bought in the morning uh, just because it is really late and I want to get to bed so uh, <laughs> yeah time to hit the hay um, but this is the progress thank you to everyone that come along to the live stream it was a whole lot of fun and uh, yeah I'll show you guys what I got in the morning okay guys let's wait no further I'm gonna show you everything I bought from the Lego store some bits I've been getting for Black Friday the the wait is over let's do it okay so first up we've got three of the Imperial Armored Marauders these are great for army building those mortar troopers are amazing the storm troopers are good as well I paid 25 pounds for each of those and I think I got those from Argos but I can't quite remember they were that was a few weeks ago and then these two sets I got for about half price on Amazon a few weeks ago um, I love collecting these like brick built um, micro fighters uh, the 8080 driver is also going to go well for the uh, Imperial Army and then I bought another Jewel on Mandalore set because I want to keep Darth Maul permanently in the spider legs that I've done and then I can keep one as the figure um, comes as well so yeah that's what we got first okay so I know this is my Star Wars channel but I figure we'll just throw these in here because these were some amazing Black Friday deals Winnie the Pooh I got for 48 pounds which is just ridiculous it was the first time it went on sale it went a third off and then an extra 20% off at Argos that was mad and then the city passenger train 125 at retails for I got it for 55 not quite sure what I'm gonna do with it yet um, I might sell the two back carriages and keep the front one because uh, I've already got one already um, we have the nine five of first battle packs that you saw me pick up in Sainsbury's so yeah like I said I got those for about a tenner each with my nectar points and stuff the Mandalorian battle packs I'll be giving one of these away when I hit 100 subs so come along to the live stream and you can enter into the giveaway um, but these were two for 15 pound and then 20% off so these were like 12 or 13 pounds um, for two so it worked out like yeah six pounds six pound fifty each something like that it was mad and then the Boba Fett starship was 24 pound again from Argos okay so here is just about everything I picked up from the Lego store on the left we'll start over here so this is everything we got for going to the midnight event so we got two of these um, gift for purchases for the reindeer two of the Tatooine homestead promos uh, we've got two of these Tantive four builds um they're pretty cool we were in the queue and they just come around and give us some golden snitch builds so we've got a couple of them we've got two of the iheart lego store london tiles these are the two certificates with the picture uh, of c3po that anthony daniels signed we've got two uh, packs of these cards here in these um this is actually what these are uh, so you get one of either the tie pilot or boba fett and then you get those two cards in there as well so i've got two more of those so i'll probably just sell those should have another hand solo poly bag somewhere but not quite sure what that is two of the 20th anniversary obi ones and then two of these creative christmas trees that are only gift for purchase obviously there are the three loot lightsaber promos got two of those and then one was at the lego store the next day i've picked these up uh these are actually well retired they had these at um at Westfields but I want to do some mocks with these and create my own sort of hanging decorations there's actually a woman there that picked up one of them and I wanted six because I thought that'd be like a nice number but yeah she she got that one so I was like right go grab them all <laughs> before someone else gets them uh, these dragon uh, dance guy pr uh, brick heads were also retired um, and I thought I'd pick these up a couple for investment I might build one might kind of do something monkey kid with it who knows these are our uh, create your own minifigures so there's mine I just did an I love 8080 not very inspiring at all and there's pages um, we're gonna switch out the legs on those um, I just wanted the 
medium water legs because they're always really handy. Uh, we've got another one of those um, creative poly bags. I should have another one of those um, those promos somewhere as well, but not. Oh, so it's, it's literally under there. <laughs> Stupid of me. Um, but yeah, we've got some uh, of the uh, build your own minifigures that you can't actually build your own anymore, but they had a Christmas one at Westfields. Um, they had though, and these ones are the ones I got from Leicester Square. They had an Easter bunny as well, and that's like the Tilbrook guy. Um, and I'm not going to open these pub cups because otherwise we'll just be here forever. But yeah, I got ended up getting three pub cups, two at Leicester Square, and one at Westfields. I cannot believe I'm looking at three UCS 8080s. And there we have it, folks. Three UCS 8080s. This is absolutely mad. One of these was a massive mistake. Uh, I checked on finances, it was all good. Uh, we were all good to go. Uh, but yeah, I cannot wait to have all three of these build. This is gonna be so sick. Oh man, what, <laughs> what an army. This is absolutely crazy. Um, this is so cool to me. Uh, it's just the ultimate army building machine. This is gonna be like the focal point for my Imperial army for so long, having three of these bad boys, so yeah. I, I cannot believe I've got them all here. It was such a mission, um, but it was such a fun couple of days. Me and Paige had a blast. Um, it was really, really good fun. And I hope you've enjoyed this vlog too. Um, and if you have, then please do leave a like on this video. So I was gonna try line up everything I got behind me, but I just don't think there's gonna be enough space with those three UCS 8080s behind me. So uh, yeah, that's gonna do it for this vlog, guys. Like the video if you've enjoyed it. It really, uh, I'd really appreciate it. Subscribe if you're new um, and come along to the weekly live streams every Wednesday at 8.30 UK time. When I hit 100 subs, I will be doing a giveaway for one of those uh, Mandalorian battle packs. So yeah, come along, come hang out. Um, it'll be a lot of fun. Other than that, I'm just not sure what else to say, so bye guys. <laughs>